Today, my friends, we're going to learn how to do a custom header using Ocean WP and Elementor with a one, two combo. It's going to be awesome. Let's jump right in. Welcome to another video about Ocean WP and Elementor, the awesome combination that's going to build your awesome website. So let's take a look at how to do custom headers with Elementor and Ocean WP. I've touched on this before with just Elementor and how you can get that into certain kinds of websites. But the awesome thing with Ocean WP is that it's baked into the theme. You can basically create custom templates using Elementor and then get them into the header like I'm showing you here in this example. Now I'm gonna run through this and show you how to do this. You can use either normal Elementor or Elementor Pro. The challenge with using basic Elementor is you can't get as sexy uh, menus coming out of it. So if you wanna think about getting Elementor Pro, there's a link below. If you click that, I get a small commission. It's a nice thank you for the work that I do. If you're up for that, that would be awesome. So have a think about Elementor Pro. There's some great features there and some other videos you can check out to see whether it's something that you need for your websites. They have lots of really cool features and they're just about to add a ton more in the next release in a couple of weeks with Elementor 2, which is in beta right now and is about to come out. But let's jump into this header and show you how I did this. I've also had someone on my videos ask before how to do a split header. So I did that in this video as well, just to show you one possibility for creating the left right headers and the logo in the middle. And with a custom header, you can do anything. You can add elements, pictures, whatever. So it's basically just a template, a page with Elementor and what you do with it is up to you. I have green underline here, which is actually not looking that great. But let's jump in and see how I did this. So the first thing you need to do is actually, I need to get to my admin panel to show you guys how to do this. So what you basically want is Ocean WP installed and you want the Ocean WP extras plugin as well. Normally that's a great thing to have, which gives you lots of options in your customizer, which we'll get to in a second. And within the theme pa panel down here on the left, you have my library and it's the my library that you want to play with. You create basically a template within this library and then you can throw that into the header in the customizer of Ocean WP. So first you need to create the header. So let's create a new one and try and replicate what I did before. So you can see how I did that. I'm just gonna publish this straight away, just so I don't have to worry about it later. And now we're gonna edit it with Elementor. And I think I've just made a mistake already. So let's go back. You need to make sure you're using a blank canvas. So an Elementor canvas in this case, because otherwise you get the header and footer and we're creating the header. So you can't have a header with a header because that's gonna be a bit crazy, right? <laughs> a double header. So you want a blank canvas and then you just wanna create a section and you can decide whether or not you want this section going full width. If you're gonna put a color in there or something in the background, then you generally wanna stretch this to full width, which is what I did. If not, then you don't need to worry about it too much because the content is still the width of the page, which is generally what you want with headers anyway. You can have really wide headers, but when you get really wide websites, like with a massive screen like I'm using here, you can't see it. But uh, actually I'm gonna zoom in here. So this tutorial is a bit easier to see on smaller screens. Um, yeah, so you don't want a header and the logo on the far left and the menu on the far right and then the content in the middle if you've got a two and a half thousand pixel screen or something because that just looks crazy. So generally you want your header to follow the width of your content. So what we wanna do next is put in a bunch of columns and you can do a standard left right logo and just put in a picture. I'm gonna do this a couple of ways to show you how I would do this. And we can put in 
say for example my Mad Lemmings logo and we can change the size of it a bit, make it a bit smaller. And then we need to put in a menu element. Now, if you don't have Elementor Pro, you have access to this custom menu here, which is okay. You can customize some stuff. You have to pick your menu. So let's pick the main menu. You can change the colors, but you need to know the hex codes. As a good designer, you should know how to use hex codes anyway, but you can't use a color picker. You have to do everything manually with the fonts. You can't change the thickness of the fonts. You can do uppercase here, which is okay. So this customized, customized header in the basic Elementor is not that great, but it's okay. So it's just a little bit more painful to work with. Now I've changed the menu link color and let's click apply and see if that works. And it didn't work. So that's also really cool. Where's my menu link color? There we go. Maybe I didn't have enough zeros. So that's not too bad and I wouldn't want that left aligned. I would want that right aligned. No, not center aligned. I would want that right aligned and we would want to put in, so you got to turn off this link because it changes everything. We want to put in some margin to make my menu align with my logo. My logo is still too big and I'm actually going to change that and bring that back up a bit. You can do this with your mouse. I have a cool Apple magic mouse so I can just scroll my finger really nice and get this positioned about right. You can use your mouse to do that or you can use the arrows or you can use your numbers. Whatever you want to use, keyboard, it's up to you. So that's a basic menu. So we can do that or we can do a left right one. So then what I would do is I would actually duplicate this column with the plus here and then I would move this to the right and move this to the middle and then duplicate this, move this to the right, <coughs> excuse me, and then I would left align that one and I would make this logo a lot smaller. Actually, we want to do that with a custom size. Let's just do 75 by 75. The logo is still not really good quality. I haven't uploaded a very good one there. And then we need to fix the alignment of these guys. Let's say 20. And then I would do the same over here. So that's pretty much okay. That's your left right menu. The alignment's looking a bit off somehow. I don't know why that is. I think the columns the columns are off somehow. 38%. Columns are actually the right width. Anyway, so let's apply that, update it. And then what you need to do is go into the customizer and you want to go, I'm just going to jump out of here to show you where this is. So you want to go into header, general, and then from the header type, you want to pick custom header. And then you can pick your header from in here. But I need to refresh this page to get that to come up. So I just do a control R or F5 on Windows. I like my shortcuts. And this customizer takes a while to load because it's quite big. And we should be able to get in here header two. I had this problem the other day. I'm just going to see if I can figure out what it is. 
is that nothing was saved. All right, so that was a complete waste of time. So let's do this again and see if we can replicate the other one that I was doing, which was this one here. And then I'm going to use now the Elementor Pro custom menu. Show you guys what that looks like. The really powerful thing here is all of the optimizations you get for this menu. You get mobile menus, you get which cutoff point you want your mobile menus, you get all of the different um, so that's got an underline, I can put a frame around it, you can change all of the colors, the thicknesses, the alignments. This is a really crazy um, menu basically, you can customize absolutely everything and yeah you can do vertical menus like that, horizontal, drop down, tons and tons of stuff, animation, whether or not it's full width, yeah, I could go on for hours. I won't bore you with it, but basically let's put in some, so again, we've got the, that's why you want to turn off this link when you do this, because otherwise everything changes. So let's change the color of that to white, because what I'm going to do is make this full width and change the background color to a baby blue color, very sexy. And then we're gonna duplicate the left menu, move it on the right, align it to the left. So I have two menus, so I change that to the other menu. And one trick, I had a question on this from somebody in a video the other day, they were having trouble with the menus make sure you create your menus in WordPress under appearance menus before you do this. Otherwise, this doesn't work very well. You get no menus available, you get errors. So create your pages, even if they're blank, create your menus, so publish your pages, create your menus, and then come and do this. Otherwise, yeah, you'll have some issues with your menus because you don't have any menus, so you can't make a header. So it's kind of a bit challenging. So let's update that now and see whether this is looking a bit better. All right, so for some reason that didn't publish before, it was a bit of a bug. I've just upgraded Elementor to the new version, so it could be that. Um, yeah, so what I also wanted to do was add in uh, an underline here so let's add in a divider. I actually wanted to make it go full width, but I can't do that anymore because of the way that I've done this. So let's just put it under the logo and let's change the margin at the bottom to be minus 30 to bring that up. Uh, zero, unlock. So I bring that up. So the problem with margins is the margins is the space between elements on the outside of the element. And sometimes the default pushes them too far away from each other and you've got this big gap you don't want. And then you need to create negative margins, which brings them inside each other. You've got to be careful they don't overlap and they disappear, but a negative margin solves that problem, which is why I did this minus 30 at the bottom of this one brings the other one up, or minus at the top brings it up as well. It's just the difference in space between this picture and this line. So that's what you can do. You can basically fully customize your header. And now if we preview this, you can see, and actually let's just get out of preview. This is what our header looks like. Now, pretty cool. I mean, it's not the sexiest header. I've got green underlines and stuff, which obviously I would change to white or something like that. It doesn't really work. But yeah, that's how easy it is to customize headers with OceanWP. So quick recap. 
create your menus in WordPress, create your pages and menus, publish your pages, save your menu, make sure you've got Ocean WP and Ocean WP extras, then go into the style templates and add a new template using a blank canvas, then create your column layout for your header and publish that and then link it through the customizer in the header general section using the drop down to create. Uh, to choose which header and then it brings up the menu for your templates and then you can inject your template here like that. So pretty simple, <laughs> I know it's like about seven steps, actually that's not simple. It is actually pretty simple, just follow the process, pages, menu, Ocean WP settings and you should be good to go. So if you enjoyed that, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be giving you lots more juicy how to create awesome website videos. And if you want to buy Elementor Pro, do me a favor and use the link below. It gives me a small commission like 10 bucks or something. I'm doing all this stuff instead of helping my clients, which should be earning me money. So if you get something out of this, I would appreciate that. It doesn't cost you anything. Just Elementor gives me part of the commission for sending you to them and buying Elementor Pro. So there's more Elementor Pro videos as well if you're interested in that. I'll try and remember to link that here in the top. Otherwise, I'll put it in the description below and I'll see you guys or you'll see me in the next video.